eggs in. Hey, 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 what's up, family? How are you? This is King Simon. As we get ready for the people to come in and, uh, but this is being recorded, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, I know y'all wondering, why in the world does King Simon have on a purple hat? <laughs> I know, why in the world does King Simon It's a, it's a, what's up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, King Simon, with your purple hat on. Tribute to Prince. Tribute it, it, to Prince. It's a, it's a tribute to Prince. I of know, course, today right. is his birthday. Today is I his know, birthday. That's right. Yes, indeed. And uh, one of my former boss, Spike Lee, is doing a big block party on what? Saturday. A tribute, tribute to Prince. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. it. Love it. Oh, right around the corner from uh, right around the corner from the one, the only Nicholas Brooklyn bookstore. So we gonna be, I'm gonna be. We gonna have to go to a party now. You know, yeah, I'm we gonna. My way up there, baby. It's um, uh, they play, they playing nothing but Prince music the whole Stop day it. through. Stop and it. Spike Spike Lee will be giving away these hats and whistles and purple this and purple gloves and all oh, kinds of stuff. Man. Well, so I, I got, got this. From, I got this I, last year. I got this last year. I love it. I love it. We're getting ready to. Um, once we get up there after Coney Island, I'm coming straight to Brooklyn. So I'm gonna be right there with you, baby. Yes, right. You should. You should. You should because we, we're looking for your your yourself. I was about I'm to say something else, but I'm gonna keep mind. my mouth. Yes, I am. And all my <laughs> sisters. Yes, I am. Yes. And so how, twelve years old, Simon. Twelve years you, old. Okay. Yes. How you doing? Your hair looking great. I, I know you did your hair, your nails, and everything else. Yes, yes, yes. We yes, I... do this ancestor ceremony, then go by Brooklyn and interview with Joel, and it is going to be, I'm not going to be scared. I'm going to set my GPS, and I'm going to ride around like I'm grown folk. Yes, I am. Yeah, you got to, you got to, because Brooklyn, yeah, put it on GPS, girl. That's why I'm a numerologist. I'm like a GPS. That's what numerologists are, new GPS. I am a GPS. You tell me what you tell me what it is, and I'll tell you what it ain't. <laughs> and if people listen to you, then they don't have to hear that thing that says, redirecting, redirecting, <laughs> redirecting. Oh, my God. Exactly. And you know, in Jamaica, they got it in the Patwa language. As which way y'all go, Britta? Why you turn left when you're supposed to turn right? <laughs> so I understand. I love it. I love it. I cannot wait. So, 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 Queen, I know you're on your way here to New York for, of course, the Ancestral Fest and a Doom Day in Philadelphia, yes. uh, which will. We'll all wait. we'll all be there because I'm I'm gonna be at all of them, of course. You gonna wear your but, hat, Simon? Uh, no, not this hat. I got a whole. You know, I got a whole bunch of hats, girl. You know, I got all the hats. I got different types of hats for different occasions. <laughs> you know, you know me. That's gonna be off the hook. I can't wait, Simon. It's gonna be wonderful. I'm gonna be up there with my um temple of our new family, and it's just gonna yes. be bananas. It's gonna be bananas, Simon. I know. I know. And, and and what what I wanted to ask you, what I wanted to say is that I want to let everybody know, of course, June 24th, June 24th, you will be at Nicholas Brooklyn Bookstore. Yes, yes, I will. And Simon, it is going to be slam bananas. When I was flying back from the UK, I spoke in the UK a couple of weeks ago, and I did right. 11 hours with those amazing, amazing women. And um, there was so much healing that went on. Could you roll that up, please? And so what I love oh. is that when I, um, when I fly, I get amazing downloads. And so yes. Spirit started to show me many of the spells that have been cast upon us through commercials. And then yes. they showed me how to do spell breaks. Because, see, that's why so many sisters and so many brothers do a whole lot of different diets and can never lose weight because see you can't diet out a spell and right. once we can pull 
that spell up out of your subconscious, then you are able to go forward. So see, this is another way that they set us up to commit suicide by food. We don't even realize it. So I am just over the moon that, you know, not only are we going to be able to help everybody heal, but we're going to do that spell break together. We're also going to be able to have everybody review their, their teeth and we'll do a little dental reflexology so that you can think that your mouth is trying to communicate to you what's going on in your body. Every last one of your teeth is connected to a system and an organ in your body. And right. then the difference I think you're breaking up, Nate. You're breaking up. Let me move around. Is this better, Simon? Uh, you're, you know, you're breaking up a little. You're breaking up a little. Okay. You know I live in the country. Because you are people. driving. I know you're driving. Yes, yes. I live in the country and we have deer. So uh, we don't have reception out here. So hold on. <laughs> we get better. <laughs> yeah, we have deer. We don't have reception. Yeah. We have deer. That's what we do. Is that better, Simon? Deer than... <laughs> Yes, that's much better. That's much better. Yes. Okay. We got past where you hunt the deer, so now everything should be good. But yeah, it's going to be off the hook. Okay, so great. People have not gotten their tickets yet. They definitely want to. A lot of our people are very, very last minute. I don't want people having to stand around because you want to be able to be comfortable. Write this down because many of the foods, even the vegan foods that we think are fine and healthy, we're eating as vegans are making you sick. I am treating many vegans who have blown their spleen out. So I want to really talk to the vegan community, especially the raw vegan community, about the organ damage that is happening mm -hmm. intestinally, gastro, uh, in, in their stomachs, as well as with their spleens. We are not told growing right. up how to maintain your spleen. And a raw food diet can right. help to blow your spleen straight out. So I really, really want to mm. be able to just sit and build. Many of our great leaders in the Brooklyn community have done an excellent job teaching us, you know, not to eat meat and all of that, but everything mm -hmm. has to be done in balance. And so right. if you don't learn how to balance things, you can really be your own worst enemy. Right, right, right. That's true. That is absolutely true. And, you know, what's so funny is that, you know, did you receive that um, article that I sent you about Whole Foods not yes, identifying sir. GMOs yes. anymore? Absolutely. All Absolutely. right. Now, it, it was Professor Griff that sent it to me. So big up to Professor Griff and Soleil. Okay. Okay. Of course, one of your students, Soleil. Yes. So, uh, and, I, and, and I was glad that Professor sent that to me. So I went through it and I said, oh, they need to see this. If she hasn't yes. seen it, she needs to see this. Because that could be a very good part of why we got to realize that yes. Whole Foods is compromised now. I Whole Foods has been compromised. Let's be real. They've you been know? compromised for three years. Three years for years, ago, exactly. My bought them. And see, I don't care what you got on your sign, it's who's financing you. That's exactly. what the bottom line is. And so, what people don't put together, Whole Foods puts it in your face and tells you listen, Whenever you come to our hot bar, our cold bar, all of our bars, all that food is GMO. None of it is right. organic. But we right. don't think twice about it. We're like, well, I'm getting my food from Whole Foods. Open the window so that fly can go out. Um, so everything is okay. But it's not okay because nothing you're making is organic. Close enough. Right. And so it's like, oh. So a lot of times, like even when we see all these great vegan restaurants and we get all excited, we are not putting together. Those are just vegetables. It doesn't say organic. If it doesn't say organic, then it's GMO. Ain't no in between. Let's stop playing. Let's stop That's playing. Right. Unless you know the farmer that you got it off of, and even then. So if it's a restaurant and they're not charging astronomically, you know it's not organic. And so you're just eating GMOs in the name of, oh, it's a vegetarian restaurant. You might as well go to McDonald's because it's the same. 
So I really want to see our, our family heal. And see, I'm going to really deal with the emotional part of this as well as the spiritual part. Because you have a lot of really, really thin brothers and sisters that are emotionally unwell concerning their food. They just happen right. to be blessed with a fast and high metabolism right now. You can That's right. Your metabolism will shut down. I want to help us to better understand probiotics and our digestive enzymes because we blow them out around the age of 35 and we don't realize it and we don't know the proper way to rebuild it. So I know you said I only have five hours to teach and I'm excited because I have so much. <laughs> she said five hours. <laughs> I like how you like to slip that type of stuff in. I understand you. You're very good at that. I've noticed that. But in actuality, in actuality, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not teaching for so long, and I don't think Joelle is teaching. So you might have at least three hours or two and a half to three hours. So you know, at least make it two and a half hours with uh, 30 minutes of question and answer. And we could do it. And, and Joelle, Joelle would like to do a live stream if you would, if you don't mind. He would like to do a live stream. I am absolutely down with it. I think it would be absolutely amazing if women could all come with this. And um, right. yeah, right. So, well, I know it's going to be great. I'm excited because we're going to get a chance to really, really see um, how much pain we're in. And then, see, I don't, the way that I teach, I don't just identify problems, I give you solutions. Exactly. And we need solutions. That's what we need. We already know something's wrong. So let's get to the root of what the something is, and then how can we fix it? What is it that can be done to fix what's wrong with me? And then right. understand generationally what's wrong. Because exactly. we, don't, we don't deal with it. And so we're actually setting up a generation of sugar addicts. And mm. then we're turning around and we're giving them Ritalin and all of these things. Ain't nothing wrong with our babies. Our babies right. are high on sugar. Uh-oh, mm -hmm. Shamana has a question, uh, Simon. Shamana called me a question. Now, now, I see the question down there. Now, I'm going to tell you, Shawana Coleman is a stalker. She's been stalking me for about 15 years now. Huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's been stalking me for 15 years, so I don't know what kind of question Shawana Coleman's going to ask, but I'm open to the question, Simon, but I'm just letting you know that's one of your cousins, and I'm concerned. Oh, that, oh, oh, oh that's one of my cousins. Of I don't cousins. know. I don't have any cousins named Shaquana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shaquana. So I don't know what she's going to say, but we're going to let her say it. We believe in freedom of speech. So let right. us... Let her ask a question, but yes. you know, I want to remind I want to remind everybody that Queen Neat will be in New York City. This is not this is one of this is one of the lives that we're going to do. I know she's on the road. I'm not going to try to keep her because I know <laughs> she's going to be in between a lot of uh, of course. You got she got she's going to be in between a lot of cell phone problems out there on the road. I know how that works. But on Sunday, June the 24th, from six to 10 p.m. Queen Neat will be featured. Suicide by food. Yes. The hidden dangers in modified food. It's a mini workshop featuring Queen Neat, myself, and Joelle Benjamin. Of course, Joelle Benjamin is the proprietor, the part, the co-proprietor of uh, Nicholas uh, Brooks and Brooklyn Bookstore located at 1396 Fulton Street between, between New York and, Be and Brooklyn Avenue. And remember, yes. advanced tickets are now $25. Come before 6 p.m. You can still get that advanced price. And after 6 p.m. it's $30 after. Remember, we have group, group rates available. So if it's a group of five or more, we will take off $5 so you can come on in and uh, pay $5. Remember, elderly people 65 years and older are absolutely free and children, yep. young people between the age of 17 and younger are absolutely free. So bring your young people that can learn, that's willing to write down and learn about the food because our children are in schools eating garbage also. They're yes. eating food yes. and are killing them from young age. That's why Queen Nee can tell you about erectile dysfunction from young yes. men at a young age. And they got to learn to get that back up because they, they're taking away our sex drive, young men and young women. <laughs> and sometimes we're using other things to compensate for that sex drive. <laughs> so we got to be very careful, very careful. So you can go to eventbrite uh, King, King Simon Productions at e dot eventbrite.com. That's King Simon Productions dot eventbrite.com. But if you don't want to do the surcharges, you can also uh, pay through PayPal, which is yes. uh, uh, numbers are simple. 
uh, at Gmail dot com and you can pay by PayPal, PayPal and just pay that set, that straight price right away or text me at 347-496-1022 that's 347-496-1022 now queen let me ask you a question here dear yes love you know i know you're the founder of medicine women university medicine woman university now when did that let's go back to when did that start and how has it been going with the women that you've been working with and helping to heal when did that start absolutely it was october of 2015 and mm -hmm. um i just really understood how deep i had been teaching um i lived with queen of four for a year and i sat at her feet learning yes. um and so that's where i got my first wellness coach certification and that yes. was 2013 and it mm -hmm. opened my eyes because i didn't understand how unwell we are right. and so i realized that women didn't just need to heal they needed to learn how to become healers because if she is the wise woman that builds her house she needs the tools in order to do it and so that's what right. inspired to start uh, actually doing it and not having women be afraid of the title of wise woman or witch. We always see that as a negative, but it's not. It's a wise woman that builds her house. It's the foolish that tear it down with her own hands. And so right, right. she needs to know how to build her house. When her husband is not well, when things are not okay in the household, she needs to know how to be that healer. And she needs to right. know how to use certain foods, certain herbs, all those types of things so that we, she is able to take care of her house because her family is her responsibility. And a lot of us, a lot of women end up getting pregnant, getting married, and now I have a family. And so mm -hmm. nobody does any type of training. Nobody does right. any kind of training whatsoever. And so, yeah, I'm responsible now for this family, but what do I do with them? What do mm -hmm. I do with them? You know, so <laughs> I change the baby's diaper. Ain't that enough? And so when we actually take time to teach a woman all of the things, but more than anything, to teach her how to fall in love with herself. When she falls in love mm -hmm. with herself, then she's better able to balance out being a mother, being a wife, or even deciding if she even wants to be that. Every woman is not right. called to be a mother. Every woman is right. not called to be a wife. And so right. when you fall in love with yourself, you can have an honest conversation with yourself to determine, is this even anything I want or is this society's pressure trying to make right. me do something? Right, 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 right. So, and that's what you, and that's what you've been doing with the the Medicine Woman University, correct? Trying to yeah. help them, to guide them, to heal them, and and help yes. them to be a better mate to their mates, right? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, you yes. know, and you know, another question I'd like to ask you, Queen, is that. You know, I know you've been through a lot, even with your own past and, you know, with your family and all that. Yeah. And how has how has your development, are you still healing and going through the process also? I am. And I believe that I will be healing for the rest of my life. You never stop healing. When you get to exactly. the point where you don't need to take any further training, you don't need to get any healing work done on you, then there's no reason for the ancestors to leave you here. You need to go and join them and go to the other side. I can right. see you, whenever you hear healers saying, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed, that's an indication that they're usually delusional. And so, <laughs> because when you're working with other people's pain, the reason that you've been allowed to go through the pain that you have is so that you are relative to them. You can relate to where they are but oftentimes my clients' pain show me that I still have things I got to work on, things that right. I, I was just, just fine with because there is a comedic proverb that is found again, uh, replaced it or placed in the Bible, and it says that it's the little foxes that destroy the vine. And so mm. as I work with my clients, it reveals the little foxes that are still in me that I have to continue to work on. So that's one of the things that when you're a healer, you are accountable first to your own healer, healing. Right. If you don't right. stay on top of your healing, you become a toxic healer. Healed people heal, heal, heal people, but toxic people do nothing but pour their toxicity right into unsuspecting, 
already damaged people. And it's just not fair because they're coming to you for healing and for help. Mm, you see, you, you, you heard it straight from the queen herself, Queen Neat, founder of the Medicine Woman University. And, you know, Queen, a lot of people, you know, misinterpret a lot of things about healing and, and, and the process and all that. And people are really, are, this is a microwave society. It and is. a lot of people are, are so microwavable and yes. always want to do the fast way and take that pill, that fast yes. pill for diet, that fast pill for this, when it really is a true process. Yes. And not just women need it, but men like oh, myself God. had to go God. through it and heal. And that's the only way we could be better for our women and, and the women that we want to deal with in our life. So, you know, now, how is your program? Have you decided to connect with some people or some men that can help with the, the men also? Because some men need this too. Right? We, we, a lot of women doing the healing, but men ain't doing it. Absolutely. There's a brother named Vaughn Jackson that is in, um, in Georgia. He's in um, the Augusta area of Georgia, military, right. family man. His wife, I absolutely adore her. They have four children. He got married when he was 18. They've been married 25 years. Mm. So a very, very solid brother. And right. so he uh, does videos every day just talking about a lot of the dysfunction, a lot of the crazy things that he did and the things he wishes that he had learned as a man before he got married. You know, he says mm -hmm. it would have brought so much uh, better quality to his wife's table if he had known a lot of things. So she had to actually just kind of wing it with him while he was trying to figure out at 18 how to be a father how to be a um how to be a husband you know what i'm right. saying he lost his father early so as far as having this great set of role models it wasn't really there so he is actually developing um a king class curriculum so mm. that men are able to get the help because what's happening is i've got amazing women they're getting the healing that they need and then they're stuck with men who are not in a position to receive their healing. So they'll sit up and say, well, that healing stuff ain't no good, and you change it. And I, yes, she is changing. She's healing. And mm -hmm. so if you heal, you've got to change. What you used to tolerate is no longer acceptable. And what you right. used to do, you're not doing anymore because you're now in love with yourself. So right. it helps us to really make better decisions as to their choices. When you make better decisions as to your mate choices, the beautiful things that happen, the beautiful things that happens is you end up raising higher vibrating children because mm -hmm. they're in a happier household. They right. are not in a household where I'm watching my mama get cussed out. I'm watching my mama get beat. I'm watching her be disrespected. No, I'm watching my father have my mother sit at her feet and teach her and not just right. regurgitate what uh, Baba Valentine or what Bobby Hammond or some great has said on um, YouTube, but no, he's actually sat down, done some research himself. He's actually, oh my goodness, read a book. And he's actually in a position to sit and meditate with my mama and to help her to heal. I see a loving relationship in front of me. That's what causes children to be whole and healed. When you sit and you teach your child how to meditate, can you imagine? Yes. We all just sat and said, you know what? Every Saturday for an hour, we are going to meditate with our children. The vibration of the whole community would improve. But mm. we're so busy chasing a dollar, trying to just live in our root chakra and just, I'm just I'm trying to pay the rent for the next month. I'm trying to pay the rent for the next month. And so we don't get out of that mentality that says, nah, I'm ready to go so much further. I'm ready to go right. so much higher. And so that's where we are, Sam. Mm. That's where we, and that's truly, that's where we are. And you know, you know, you know, uh, just want to remind everybody, Queen Neat will be in New York City speaking at Nicholas Brooklyn, the brand new Nicholas Brooklyn. She hasn't even been in this Nicholas Brooklyn yet. Oh, She's been down to the one downtown years ago, but this is her first yes. time speaking in Nicholas Brooklyn, the, the newly uh, uh, known Nicholas Brooklyn over there at Restoration Plaza. And a lot of people's wondering why I'm wearing this purple hat because of Prince. 
Um, and <laughs> Spike Lee, my former boss, is having a big party for him this Saturday at Restoration Plaza. So it's going to be a whole, it's per I mean, they paint the whole place purple. That, that's what they're doing. It's just a it's gonna look like it's gonna look like the uh the release of the movie uh Black oh, Panther. Wow. I'm telling you, it's gonna look just like it. But I reminder think. again, pr uh, Queen Neat will be in town June uh the 24th. Suicide by Food yes. with special guest Joelle Benjamin. I'm hosting it, of course. The Hidden Dangers in Modified Foods, a mini workshop. Yes, and uh, doors open at 5 p.m. The event starts around 6 6:30. I'll be going on first. It's $25 before 6 p.m. and $30 after. Like I said, we do have group rates. So before, if you do the group before 6 p.m., at least we could take off at five people. Five dollars will be taken off of each person if they come before six, or if you come in individually or under five people, it will be twenty-five dollars before six p.m. Thirty dollars at the door after. Group rates are available, and elderly people, sixty-five and older, I'm trying to show my love to my elders, yeah. absolutely free. And young people, because young, I got this information and knowledge at. 14 when I became part of the 5% nation and the Ansaro law and the nation of Islam, those, uh, I got it at 14. So I have 17 years and younger are allowed in for free. You don't even have to have your parents if you're 17 and they'll just come on out and enjoy Queen Neat because you are the future and you're going to take this information and carry it somewhere else. I'm telling you, it will be, uh, more than likely, we will be doing a live stream uh, through Joel Benjamin 528 on YouTube, because he is one of the speakers. So on YouTube, uh, Joel Benjamin 528. Make sure you go to subscribe to his YouTube, subscribe to mine, King Simon Presents. And I believe you have a YouTube yet, girl? You have your YouTube yet? Do you have a YouTube? It's coming. Okay, I know. you. go. You, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. Medicine Woman in University, you should yes. put that out there, just like that. And uh, what's your website, Queen? What's your website, Queen? SacredMedicineWoman.com sacredmedicinewoman.com repeat yes. uh sacredmedicinewoman.com it's up and going right now correct yes. all right i just want to remind people if you are a vendor and you want to vend it's only thirty dollars to vend at nicholas brooklyn because it's a small venue it's not like the big venue that we did with uh brother P uh panic and uh phil valentine and i see it which was 600 people or more i heard it was off the hook simon I Whew, it was crazy. And I shouted you out. I shouted your stuff out. We gave my son gave out flyers to everybody that came in the door with your face on it. So that's how it was. It was beautiful. So, you know, even even some people that you used to work with was yeah. like, wow, he's coming to town. <laughs> Yes, the whole right. the whole sacred woman uh, crew was there, and they was because they was cooking food. They was providing food also. So big up to oh, Ali and the whole crew that provided food. And um, but you know, Queen, uh, you know, we we talk about the healing. We talking about all those different types of things, of course, in regards to that. But how important food and why why is it that we cannot really uh, get a lot of this the wholesome food into schools nowadays and. And, and why why it's so important that even parents probably need to homeschool their children from now on. I don't, I, I'm thinking that we might have to go down that route because I think that's, that is very important because the, the school has become a killing field, not only Absolutely. mentally, but spiritually and physically. Yes, yes. Has become a mess. So suicide by food is not just, it's not just the food, it's also mentally. It it's is. also physically, you know? So, I mean, what's so important about what, yes, somebody, thank you very much, uh, uh, Shaquana Lino, for putting that in. Big up to Shaquana. She's a, a, a very good person that I worked with before. She put your website on. That's good. Oh, okay, good. I'm liking that. Good, good person. She's a, she's a Pisces. So big up to you, Pisces. <laughs> Right. You no, know, I know. But no, tell us about the because it's time to reach the children. And, and I know we reach the children through the mother because the hands that rock the cradle rules the world. You yeah. gotta remember that. So though, tell us about how can we reach the children a little bit more? Maybe you maybe that's one of your goals, or maybe by, get, by healing these women, it's, 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 that's how we're gonna do it. Please Absolutely. explain. So I'm working, the women that I'm working with, one of my goals in helping them to heal is so that they can help with the Safe, Sacred Daughters program. I okay. can, we're working with girls that are 9 to 16, and then we're also right. working with girls that are 4 to 8. If you start placing the see, I was a Girl Scout, and I started back when I was a brownie, and it wow. helped to form and to shape me. So I did that up until like the 10th grade, and wow. I absolutely love it, and I learned so much. And so 
as a result, I want us to have our own version. Actually, when I was a Muslim, there is a Muslim version that is off the charts. But wow. I want to be able to just have a conscious version that is at the very highest vibration. So no matter what your religious affiliation is, you're able to actually send your daughters and they become thorough. Because if right. they don't start, it's easier not to start a habit than to get a habit and then try to break it. And okay. so children are learning early about planting their own food. So if you don't do nothing but start a little herb garden outside your house and then your children get the herbs and then food is prepared with it, that is everything because that makes them feel into it. The okay, Queen is breaking up. You're breaking up a little, Queen. Queen, you're breaking up, and now I can't hear you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yes, there you go. Okay. They are The schools are purposeful killing spheres. Yes. And the reason that they're trying to do it is it's easier to kill the next generation if they're all at school. So yes. if I keep having these massive school shootings, I keep the kids scared. I keep them scared. Mm -hmm. And so I can just randomly say, okay, so where are all the little brown children? Let me go in there and have somebody go off in there. And so it's really, really underplayed. Whenever you have somebody that does a school shooting, they don't get victimized. I mean, they don't get uh, demonized. They're mm -hmm. always, oh, they were mentally ill. Oh, they had troubles at home. No matter how many they kill, nobody has negative to say. You have to understand we're setting our kids up to be prey. So mm. the food that they are actually feeding our children is to continue this role of ADHD. So what mm. happens is they'll have school breakfast that's chalked full of sugar. And then the child is expected to go and sit down in a classroom. So they <laughs> hyped up on sugar. And then I'm telling you, you need to sit down and learn. Okay. So then I take you to lunch and I give you pizza that's chalked full of sugar because it's cheap, right. all in the sauce. And I put sugar in everything else that you're doing. Then I tell you, okay, the bell is wrong. Go sit down and learn. And you're mm. high once again. So right. we set unrealistic expectations of the children. Then we turn around and say, oh, well, you can't meet these expectations. You have ADD. You have ADHD. You have a learning disorder. They don't have a right. learning disorder. They're high. Exactly. High exactly. Again, it's the same thing with us when we stay high on sugar. Uh, when right, we right. coffee and all of that type of stuff. We're just high. So ain't nothing wrong with you. And so when they keep telling you, Oh, no, well, you know, black boys this and black boys that. No, get them off of the sugar. So we mm. do have to reclaim our children. And we right. stop setting our children up to be in one-parent households. Right. Because we are sexually irresponsible. And so when we are sexually irresponsible, that's how you set yourself up. For that's how you set yourself up. Exactly. You set exactly. yourself up for that. Exactly. You know, you know, Queen, I'll just remind people, please share this video. This is just a this is just a preliminary before the, the Sunday, June the 24th, because I, I believe Queen is coming with a PowerPoint for the first time. I'm, I'm, I'm trying it to make sure because she could talk without she could do it without a PowerPoint, believe right. me. Right. But it, it, and that's that's in case of emergency. Just if, right. if, if the right. PowerPoint don't work, we'll go straight to talk. That's it. Right. And oh, prof professionals are ones that can do it with or without a PowerPoint. Sometimes it's just what it is. I, I just bring her a chalkboard and she go ahead and do her thing. But it's very important that we all share this video, share this video, share this video, because remember, Sunday, June the 24th is going to be off the hook. I will put this video also on my YouTube, which is King Simon Presents. King Simon Presents on YouTube. And uh, like I said, this is Suicide by Food Preliminary. 
and she said, I'm not going to let her give off all, give up all the jewels. Right, Can't right. give off all the jewels, family, because she's driving right. to come to New York, not only for the Ancestral Fest in Coney Island, yes, and all yes. of y'all should be out there at the Ancestral Fest at yes. Coney Island this Saturday from 12 noon to sunset, where we give tribute to our ancestors that came through the transatlantic slave trade, the, yes. those people that came through there, and we give an honor to our ancestors also, our bloodline ancestors, but those that had lost their life on the Atlantic Ocean, and that's where Coney Island is, right there, off of 17th Street on the Broadwalk. If you want to come to the Boardwalk, that's 17th Street off the Boardwalk. You could take the Q, the F, and all kinds of trains straight to Coney Island, or take Ocean Avenue, Ocean um, Ocean Parkway straight to Coney Island, or if you know how to get there through the, uh, through uh, through uh, B Q E and all the rest of these. I haven't driven in a while. I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> I still got my license, but I haven't driven. But I want to remind everybody, Queen Neat is coming in with a, a healing vengeance yes. because Queen has not been in Nicholas, Brooklyn in a That's long right. time since Queen of Four, since working yes. with the Queen. And I, I love Queen of Four, but I also love Queen Neat. So these are family members of mine that I've worked with over the years, especially Queen. Queen is like her and Phil raised me back in the day. So I understand what's the deal here with Queen and Queen making her own. And like I've told people, even in Queen of Four's camp, I said, if Queen of Four transition, y'all supposed to be able to do the work. And Queen right. Neat is doing the work. Yes. Everybody. Dr. Africa says the same thing. Take his information, take his classes, get his certification Absolutely. and take the information and run with it. Absolutely. Run with it. And this is what Queen is doing. She's developing some great sisters. I've, I've done readings for all of them and I want to thank all of the business that you've sent to me and I vice versa sent to you to, as far as to help and guide people because this is intentionally, this is from the heart. That's why I do what I do from the heart with numerology. And I know all those certificates on your wall, girl. I, you, you got <laughs> You got at least 20 to 25 of them, and you're about to take my class and get a certificate yes, also. So I already know. <laughs> But I'm proud of you. I'm proud of what you're doing. Just want to remind everybody, Sunday, June the 24th, get your advanced tickets if you can. You can get it at Nicholas Brooklyn over there, 1396 Fulton Street between Brooklyn and New York Avenue. Or you can do it via PayPal. Just text me. If you don't want to pay the, uh, if you don't want to pay the Eventbrite surcharges, which can be kind of crazy, you can text me and I'll let you go through the uh, PayPal. Text me at 347 496 one zero two two. I'll say it slow for you. Three four seven four nine six one zero two two. And get those tickets. Remember, we have group rates. If you're coming five or more people, then the young people are absolutely free from seventeen to zero, and elders are absolutely from from six after absolutely free from sixty five and up. We want to welcome the young and the old because we need to bring them together and show the balance of who we are as a people, mm -hmm. how the elders used to have the youths around them so they can learn because the elders are for counsel and the youth are for war. So yeah. that's what it's really about. We got to remember this. The, the elders shouldn't be out there fighting the war. They're too old for this. That's right. We need to that's build right. these youth. So that's why I'm still out there. I ain't going to be an elder until 100 years old. <laughs> I ain't gonna be healthy uh, yet. I know that's. <laughs> I'm fifty. I'm fifty uh -uh, right now, so I know <laughs> I'm still. I'm still. I still look youthful. I'm yeah. ready to roll. I'm still training. I'm still working out. I'm still vibing. You know. So um, I thank you very much, Queen. What you said? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I know you're rolling with your crew. I know you're rolling with your crew. It's about a thousand pounds inside there. So. <laughs> ready <laughs> i'm big <laughs> big up to y'all and uh respect to y'all i'm not gonna hold you too much but the last question i have for you there is about accountable elders in in the ethiopian language they call it judgeness they call yeah. it, instead of calling them mentors we call them yeah. judgeness because we know that the, the kind of the meaning the denotative and the connotative meaning of mentor but judgeness the accountable elders. I, I took it upon myself that if I decide to get married again, one day I will get married again. Yes, you will, Simon. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will, Simon. So I took it upon myself to gather the elders that are, it has been in marriages for at least over 15 to 20 years. Okay. 
okay. to be my be my advisors, the Dr. <laughs> Africans and Dr. Melanie, the Phil Valentine, the Dr. Nalani, the okay. Ashra Kwesi and the Mirra Kwesi, the, the Professor Smalls and his wife and Dr. Jeffries and his wife. They are my counsel okay. because through any that and and professor professor jeffries is the oldest as far as the amount of uh, time he's been been in his marriage for 53 years wow. and wow. it's not been an easy road on any in any uh, span it's not been an easy road for them as far as what your your group and your medicine woman university how important is the elders to help guide the women and the men into uh building their 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 their, their union and going through the ups and downs of the union and not giving up and it is, healing. It is so key. I have mm -hmm. nine elders. I have an Indiana of elders that I sit under. And I am so very, very grateful because they check me, they guide me, they encourage me, they love me. And so I definitely encourage all of my students to make sure they have elders within their family. Um, right. And see, family ain't always blood. But That's when right. you see people doing the work, then you want to definitely start to check out their lives and start right. to ask questions. Hey, I need to have a better understanding. You've been married 40 years. I can't stay in a relationship 40 days. So help me understand how you do it. Why do you, why do you want to wake up to him every day you were still excited about it you ain't mad after two years you know and so we don't have a lot of and that's what i love about brother vaughn and his wife um in, in augusta they have mm -hmm. real talk conversations you know mm. and she, she's real real honest because and they're very open his mama didn't like her at first they mm. had for each other to do and so the right. family is so very key and so very important because when you marry a person, you're marrying their whole family. I don't care how much you scream and holler. Where the family ain't got nothing to do, the family has everything to do with it. So mm. it is entirely important that you have elders. And you're right. I can, you can't come talk to me about what I did wrong in my marriage if you can't stay married. You'd have been divorced five times. Stop talking. Go sit down. I can't hear you. So I want to, and I love being surrounded by elders who, and I learned that the hard way. I learned the hard way that if people have had multiple divorces, that's not who you talk to when you need help with your marriage. And that's so right. now that I know it, when I get married again, and somebody's going to marry Queen Me, it'll happen before I'm eight. <laughs> and so I'm super excited. So I'll, but I'll be much wiser already. So I'll be bringing a great amount of wisdom to the table and right. it'll help me to be a better wife. I'm overwhelmed with it. So that's why that's right. I work with my students so that they can bring their very best version to the table because we bring too many masks to the table. You know what I'm right. saying? Let's go ahead and take the mask off. See if he likes who you really are with no mask on. And so that's why we take sex off the table. If we can right. take sex off the table, then we get a chance to see if you even like, we're having sex with people we don't even like. The sex mm. is just good. So if you take sex off the table for the first 90 days, it gives you a chance to see, do I even like her? Do I even like him? Is he somebody that I would want to be the father to my children? Do I want her to be my kids? Mama, oh my God. And so you get to make some real clear cut decisions in your life. Right, 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 right. And that and that's what the elders are there to help, especially yes. those that have been in marriage for a long period of time and that yes. can guide you. I wanna thank wanna thank a lot of people that's been tuning in. Phil from Brooklyn, Jamila Duncan. What's up, Jamila? Good to see you, girl. Uh, of course, thank you, Ms. Lino, for posting that up on the Deborah Scott. Andy, David, what's up? Umar Shabazz, my security brother from the Nation of Islam back in the day. Akil Rose, Umar Bashir, Jimmy Cliff's son is on here. Addy Amila, big up to them. Shaquana, yes, yeah, Shaquana Alino, another great psychic out there doing her thing. Shawana, Shawana Coleman, Miss Coleman, big up to you. I know I butchered your name earlier. African Queen, <laughs> big up to you. Big up to you, my family. Of course, remember, share this. Tanweer, what's up, us? 
Ustan Weir, martial arts from Sanukas. Big up to you, sir. Of course. Um, got a big up also. Uh, let me see. Yes. Terry, what's up? Big up to you. Want to thank everybody. Please share this video. Share this video because it's about health. It's about good, righteous health. Sly Nori, what's up? Big up to you. It's all about good, righteous health. And uh, African Queen, big up to you. Uh, remember, Sunday, June the 24th. Queen Neat, the one that you see right there with us right here. This is just a brief interview. I'm not going in that deep yet. We're probably going to try to catch it live either at the um, at the Ancestral uh, yeah. Tribute in Coney Island this Saturday or at Adunde. We might sit yeah. down and do a live because I'm going to be in Philadelphia. I'm actually yeah. going to be in Philadelphia. Big up to Lisa Samuels tuning in. Also, the nurse. What's up, nurse? Samuel, big up to you. You know, and it's so important. June 24th. This may be backwards. I know it's June 24th, and it's going to be at Nicholas Brooklyn Bookstore, a Black-owned facility and, uh, and, and vicinity. But, and remember, uh, Joel Benjamin and I are going to open up. I'm not speaking that much. I'm really just hosting and probably drop a few numbers here and there about the number 11 year that we're in and all that kind of stuff. But Joel Benjamin is going to definitely go in about the crystals and the health and all that kind of stuff, the stones that he done and worked with. Remember, hit him up on Joel Benjamin 528. Hit me up at King Simon Productions or King Simon Presents on Instagram and uh, King Simon Presents on YouTube, King Simon Production on Instagram and on Facebook and King Simon Prod on Twitter. Twitter. And uh, what's your Instagram, uh, Alicia? I mean, uh, yes, Alicia. <laughs> Queen Neat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Please underscore Neat, N E I T H underscore A T L. Queen underscore Neat underscore A T L. That is my Instagram. Right. And on Facebook, I know you're Alicia Queen Neat, Kaya, right? Uh -huh. That's it. All right, so we got that down on Facebook. She's on Facebook. She's on Instagram. I believe you're on Twitter, too. You're on Twitter? I am. Are you on Twitter? Yeah, look, me, no, me and uh, Donald Trump. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I got a Twitter. That, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you want to be on? You on with Donald Trump? <laughs> you on with Donald Trump? <laughs> yeah, me. Together, so. It's, it's all right. It's all good, you know. But Queen, I, a Queen, a Queen, I want to thank you very much for being uh, with me at this time. You know, of course, working and you know, thank you very much for inviting me to the sex conference that we did, the yes. sexual alchemy conference. That was phenomenal. Of course, Absolutely. we had a great time. <laughs> we did a, did an excellent job, Simon. Oh my goodness, you did an excellent job. People, when is it coming back? thank you very much and um have a safe drive where you go coming up to new york of course have a safe drive and um definitely we uh we're going to see each other this weekend but also june the 24th family june the 24th tell a friend share this video tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend tell a neighbor tell your enemy because enemies need to become friends sometimes <laughs> After all, if you if you teach them to heal themselves, believe yes. me, they'll be a friend of yours. Yes. Believe me, you know. And we're going to be at Nicholas Brooklyn. That's located at 1396 Fulton Street between Brooklyn and New York Avenue. It's $25. The love gift is an advanced $25. Remember, I had a very early bird ticket for $19.99. Y'all missed that. But now it's $25 in advance before 6 p.m. or get the tickets at Nicholas or get the tickets through me via PayPal. My number, once again, is 347 Four nine six one zero two two. You can text me for that PayPal link, or you can text me for consultation. And what is your number so people can text you for consultation or whatever? Or what Absolutely. should they go through? Seven seven zero eight six one nine nine zero six. Seven seven zero eight. Seven seven zero eight six one nine nine zero six. I do several different types of readings, and I offer services. Um, distance healing as well as healing at my temple so mm -hmm. um, people can request a services listing my website is almost finished art of war media is hooking it up i'm so excited so yeah uh 770-861-9906 they can text me and ask for a list of services they just need to send me their email address i'll send it right out to them and we'll let the healing begin that's right. That's right. Let the healing begin. Are you ready to heal?
<laughs> Let's get ready to heal. So thank you very much there and drive safely, my love, and be safe out there. You know, I know all of y'all are martial artists in that car, so it's all good. That's right. That's right. <laughs> With your carriers. <laughs> Let you know once I get here, Simon. Thank you for always being in my corner, and thank you for always having my back. I love you so much. Love you too, my sister. And you be safe, and I'll and I'll have a safe trip. Okay. Okay. Oh. You too. All right. Hotel. All right. Hotel. That was quick, neat family. So I'm gonna get on out of here. I'm gonna take a little step back to the rear and get the heck out of here, like we used to say on radio, or what Frankie Crocker used to say right here on New York radio. Yes, I am wearing the Prince hat. Yeah, I'm wearing the Prince hat because Prince birthday was today, June the seventh. So was Aton Edwards' birthday today. Was his birthday also June the seventh? So was um Allen Iverson' birthday was today, April. I mean um uh, June the seventh. Allen Allen Iverson, Aton Edwards, the disaster preparedness uh, person, and Prince was celebrating their birthday today. And of course, we're gonna be at the ancestral tribute to the ancestors and all those people that lost their lives doing the middle passages of course that's what we're doing on that tribute for whether you're from the caribbean whether you're from america whether you're from wherever you come from as far as you're an african descent you're from that going through that slave trade no matter how many people went through that that's what we're going to be doing that tribute for and that's how happening this saturday at coney island on 17th street on the boardwalk so you walk up to 17th Street, walk up the boardwalk, and you should see everybody in all white. If you're going to come to Coney Island, whether rain or fall, it's absolutely where all white is absolutely free. You'll see the drummers. You'll see the performances. We'll see people going down to the ocean to give flowers or give, or give some type of love to our ancestors. And please, come on, make it out. And then... Uh, we will be heading to Philadelphia the next day for the Edunde Festival. This will be my first time at the Edunde Festival. So all you people in Philly, King Simon is coming. I might do a few numerology readings. I don't know, but I will have some of my books out there. I probably have like 10 books with me. At uh, I'm running with uh, Yendez, Sister Yendez I'm coming with. I'm coming with uh, Sister Rain and a few other brothers and sisters that's going to be rolling out there. So I will be at the Adunde Festival for the first time. And performing live is going to be KRS-One. He's performing live at the Adunde Fest. So I'm going to be coming down there. I'm trying to. I'm also trying to bring him in and do uh, do something with him and probably Umar Johnson if Umar's down, or I might do uh, uh, David Banner. Depends if he's down. I'm trying to lock in some stuff, but definitely going to work with KRS One uh, for uh, a nice metaphysic hip hop lecture with Sabir Bay. Big up to Sabir Bay. I'm working on Sabir Bay. Sabir Bay is the one that's giving me the contact. So enough respect to Sabir all the time. Make sure you check out Sabir Bay on his Facebook. He always come in live with all the information he's dropping. Big up to him. Also, once again, June the 24th, Queen Neat will be at the Nicholas Brooklyn Bookstore. That's Suicide by Food featuring her and Joel Benjamin will be opening up. I am just the host. $25 in advance, $25 before 6 p.m., $30 after. Absolutely free for younger people, 17 years and younger, and absolutely free for our elders, 65 years and older. We have group rates available. Groups of five or more will get a group rate. And also, I got to big up the next week after I believe the next week after that, two weeks after that, we will have the Sarnetta TV Awards. I will be one of the MCs. Sarnetta TV Awards will be at the Symphony Space in Manhattan. That's 2537 Broadway, upper level. And that's over there off of 96th Street, I believe. 96th Street doors open at 4 p.m. The event starts sharp at 5 p.m. And it's July the 7th, July the 7th. It's gonna be big. Lifetime Achievement Award will go to the one, the only Minister Louis Farrakhan, Professor Jane Smalls, Queen of Four, Dr. Leonard Jeffries, and Attorney Malik Z. Shabazz will be there. And a whole host from Sinetta TV Awards, of course. And if you're gonna be in town, remember, the African Arts Festival is gonna be from June the 30th until July the 4th, June the 30th, until July the 4th, the Africa, International African Arts Festival at the Barry, uh, the, uh, the Commodore Barry Park down there off of Flushing and the Park Avenue over there in Brooklyn, right near the Brooklyn and Manhattan Bridge inter intersection downtown. And that's an all day from 10 a.m. to like 10 p.m. And children, I think it's $3 or $5 for adults. 
Come on out. It's going to be well secured. It's going to be live performance. Tribute to Hugh Masakela. Tribute to Winnie Mandela. Tribute to uh, uh, various other entertainers that has passed on and a few ancestors that has passed on. But we got live performance that's going to be on stage. I found out one of my dear friends is going to be performing live. Live at first. And I won't even mention that name because we forget. <laughs> No, uh, I'm just saying that uh, Sister Imani Creation will be performing live at the um, uh, at the tribute. Also, her she's going to be performing live, so it's going to be great. So, family, I'm getting out of here. Thank you very much. Love all of y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in and keeping it locked right here on uh, King Simon Productions. Uh, big up to everybody that tuned in. Big up to all of y'all. Please share, 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 share. And remember, this will also be posted on my YouTube, and that's King Simon Presents. Subscribe to King Simon Presents on YouTube and see all of the past things that I've done with Dr. Sabi, Dr. Uh, Dick Clark, uh, Dick Gregory, also Dr. Um, uh, also Queen of Four, and different other people that I've had on there. So. I love you, respect you. Regardless of land, label, or language, there's but one God and in the immortal words of Marcus Mosiah Garvey, up you mighty nation, you could accomplish what you will. Out of here, King Simon Production on everything social media. King Simon Productions on everything social media. Email King Simon Production at Gmail. And numbersaresimple.com and King Simon Productions.wordpress.com. Peace, love, and soul.